San Francisco, a city where modern innovation meets rich history, where the Pacific Ocean kisses the Golden Gate, and the hills hold stories of a vibrant, colorful past. This is the city of historic cable cars, iconic bridges, and neighborhoods that burst with culture and life. Sample the flavors of the world in its food, from the dim sum in Chinatown to the seafood at Fisherman's Wharf. But that's just the beginning. Dive with me into this city's heart and discover the top 10 things you must do when you're in San Francisco. Starting our countdown at number 10, we have the iconic Golden Gate Bridge. This majestic span, painted in the unique shade of international orange, is more than just a crossing point over the San Francisco Bay. It's a symbol of the city, a testament to human ingenuity, and a beacon for travelers worldwide. Since its completion in the 1930s, the Golden Gate Bridge has stood as an architectural marvel, an engineering feat that continues to inspire awe. It's not just about crossing from one point to another, it's about the experience, the view, the sense of scale that leaves you feeling humbled. For the perfect photo, head to Battery Spencer. It's an old military installation turned viewpoint that offers a stellar perspective of the bridge. Another great spot is Chrissy Field, where you can get the bridge with the city as a backdrop. So grab your camera and capture the architectural marvel that is the Golden Gate Bridge. At number nine, hop onto a historic cable car for a unique San Francisco experience. Remember when travel was a bit more slow paced and even a tad romantic? That's the beauty of the San Francisco cable cars. These moving monuments, which have been around since the late 19th century, offer a delightful throwback to a bygone era. Three lines traverse the city, each offering its own unique views and experiences. The Powell Hyde Line, for instance, takes you over the hilly cityscape, with views of the picturesque Lombard Street, the Bay, and Alcatraz Island. Meanwhile, the California Line offers a different perspective, running east-west from the Financial District, through Chinatown, to Knob Hill. This ride provides a fantastic view of the Bay Bridge and the city's stunning architecture. Whether you're chugging uphill or coasting down towards the waterfront, the cable cars offer a charming and leisurely way to explore the city. A ride on these cable cars is an absolute must for a true San Francisco experience. Coming in at number 8, immerse yourself in the vibrant culture and history of Chinatown. This bustling enclave is a sensory swirl of sights, sounds, and scents. Visit the iconic Dragon Gate, a symbol of welcome and good fortune, before meandering through the maze of streets and alleyways. Experience the energy of Stockton Street Market, teeming with fresh produce and exotic ingredients. Savor the flavors of authentic dim sum, roast duck, and mooncakes in one of the many eateries that line the streets. For a shopping spree, Grant Avenue is your go-to. It's the oldest street in San Francisco and boasts an array of shops selling everything from traditional Chinese clothing to handcrafted jade jewelry. Don't forget to wander into the ornate Tin Hao Temple or the Chinese Historical Society of America Museum to delve deeper into the rich tapestry of Chinese American history. Chinatown is a cultural treasure chest waiting to be explored. At number 7 we have the bustling Fisherman's Wharf. Anchored in the heart of San Francisco, Fisherman's Wharf is a hub of vibrant energy and endless excitement. It's here where you'll find a plethora of unique attractions from the enchanting sea lions at Pier 39 to the historic ships at the Maritime National Historical Park. But the wharf isn't just about sightseeing, it's a culinary hotspot, serving up some of the city's most delectable seafood. Revel in the rich flavors of clam chowder served in a crusty sourdough bowl, or savor the succulent Dungeness crabs, a local favorite. And let's not forget about the shopping. With a diverse mix of specialty shops and boutiques, you're bound to stumble upon that perfect souvenir to remember your San Francisco adventure by. Whether it's the artisanal crafts or the quirky novelty items, there's a treasure for everyone here. Fisherman's Wharf is where San Francisco's charm truly shines. Halfway through our countdown at number 6, let's talk about the best time to visit San Francisco. Spring and fall offer mild temperatures and fewer crowds, perfect for strolling around the city. Summer can be surprisingly foggy and cool, yet it boasts the liveliest festivals and events. Winter, while cooler, proves less crowded and features enchanting holiday lights. However, the city's diverse offerings ensure a unique experience no matter the season. San Francisco is a year-round destination, but choosing the right time can enhance your experience. 
At number 5 we have the infamous Alcatraz Island. This former federal prison located in the chilly waters of San Francisco Bay has a storied past that's as captivating as its panoramic city views. In its heyday, Alcatraz housed some of the most notorious criminals of the time, including Al Capone and Robert the Birdman Stroud. Today, you can step back in time, wandering the cell blocks and immersing yourself in the rich history where echoes of past inmates and officers still seem to linger. A visit to Alcatraz isn't just about the prison though. The island is also home to rare flowers, marine wildlife, and thousands of roosting and nesting seabirds. To get there, hop on one of the frequent ferries from Pier 33. But remember, tickets sell out fast, especially during the summer months, so it's wise to book in advance. A visit to Alcatraz Island is a chilling yet fascinating journey into the past. Cracking into the top four, we have San Francisco's food scene. An eclectic melting pot of flavors from around the globe, this city is a paradise for food lovers. From the world-famous clam chowder and sourdough bread bowls at Fisherman's Wharf, to the irresistible dim sum in Chinatown, every corner of the city offers a culinary treat. San Francisco is also home to the iconic mission-style burrito, a must-try for anyone visiting. This massive, foil-wrapped delight is jam-packed with rice, beans, and your choice of meat, a mouth-watering testament to the city's vibrant Mexican food culture. And let's not forget about the Girardelli Chocolate Company, where you can indulge in decadent chocolates and sundaes. Whether you're a fan of seafood, Asian cuisine, Mexican food, or sweet treats, there's a place in San Francisco ready to serve up a plate of happiness. San Francisco's food scene is a delightful journey for your taste buds. At number 3, indulge in some retail therapy at Union Square. This bustling district is the beating heart of San Francisco's shopping scene. From high-end fashion houses to independent boutiques, Union Square is a treasure trove waiting to be discovered. Stroll down Post Street and you'll find an array of luxury brands that will make any fashion enthusiast's heart flutter. Wander a little further and you'll discover the charm of local boutiques, offering unique finds that you won't see anywhere else. Don't forget to check out the flagship stores of renowned department chains where you can find a variety of goods, from the latest tech gadgets to designer apparel. If you're seeking a more unique shopping experience, the side streets of Union Square are filled with quirky bookstores, vintage shops, and art galleries. So whether you're a seasoned shopaholic or just looking for a special memento of your San Francisco trip, Union Square has something for everyone. Union Square is a shopper's paradise in the heart of the city. Almost at the top, at number 2, we have Hiking at Twin Peaks. This pair of high points is nestled in the heart of San Francisco, offering an invigorating hike and an exhilarating view of the cityscape. The trails here range from gentle slopes to more challenging terrains, making it an adventurous paradise. As you ascend, the panorama unfolds before your eyes, revealing the majestic Golden Gate Bridge, the sprawling bay, and the city's vibrant neighborhoods. It's a view that's as dynamic as the city itself, with the scenery changing with the ebb and flow of the famous San Francisco fog. The air up here is fresh and crisp, a delightful respite from the hustle and bustle down below. This is the place to feel the city's pulse, yet be far removed from its frenzy, so lace up your hiking boots and embrace the climb. Twin Peaks offers a breathtaking view of the city that you won't want to miss. And finally, at number one, we have exploring Golden Gate Park, a jewel in San Francisco's crown, Golden Gate Park is a sprawling green wonderland that sparks joy in every visitor. Covering over a thousand acres, it is filled with a variety of attractions, from beautiful gardens and lakes to museums and cultural venues. One could easily spend an entire day marveling at the vibrant tulips in the Dutch windmill and tulip garden, or soaking up the serenity at Stowe Lake. The park is also home to cultural gems like the D. Young Museum, where art lovers can indulge in American art from the 17th through the 21st centuries. For the active visitors, there are several recreational activities available. You can rent a paddle boat, go for a leisurely bike ride, or even take a swing at the golf course. The park's beauty is unparalleled and its atmosphere simply magical. Golden Gate Park is the heart of San Francisco, offering something for everyone. And there you have it, the top 10 things to do in San Francisco. From capturing the majestic Golden Gate Bridge to riding historic cable cars, exploring vibrant Chinatown, visiting the lively Fisherman's Wharf, understanding the best times to visit, and immersing yourself in the history of Alcatraz Island. Not forgetting to savor popular foods, shop in Union Square, hike at Twin Peaks, 
and explore the expansive Golden Gate Park, San Francisco is waiting for you, ready to reveal its charm, history and beauty. So when are you booking your trip?